All right, here we have another back test uh, for the month of March. This one is on a channel called City Index Trading Signals. Um, and I happen, <laughs> so I started following this in order to test it, and I also follow this channel, uh, GBPJPY Forex, which I've tested in the past, and, I, and there's a video of the test from February. And these guys are the exact same channel. <laughs> they copy each other, I discovered. I mean, they're not exactly, exactly the same, uh, but yeah, they're, you know, they have like some slight variations, but, but they're pretty much copies of each other. I, I don't really understand why you would do that. It seems kind of silly to me, <clears throat> but I don't know. Maybe there's some reason why. And this one says it has 44,000 subscribers. This one says it has 14,000 subscribers. You know, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so for this one last month, JB, GBP, JPY, I think there was about a 17% return. So it was, a, I mean, it looks to me like it's just aggregating signals from somewhere. That's what it looks like because the format changes and it's all over the map. And, um, yeah, I'll see them say things on this channel that I see, you know, said on other channels. And, um, you know, there's a lot of chatter about how they pay out to investors and stuff. I don't know that I really believe any of that. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to say. Um, just taking a look at the data here. Um, yeah, this, I mean, I had to do a lot of work to clean this up this data up and to, to get the, you know, everything to trigger correctly. And again, I'm sure like other channels, I re often reach out to these channels and say, Hey, you know, you tested pretty well on our system and maybe you'd like to, you know, change your format. So people that run copiers can use your, can use your signals. And they, you know, there's a little bit of conversation and they, they just never write back. So if you feel like bugging them, like I do, um, you know, definitely be my guest. Um, so having said that, let's take a look at the test. Uh, yeah, you can see $3,574. So that's like 35% return. Um, <clears throat> take a look at the report. And so what I do with these, uh, as I say, every single video that I do, I start with a $10,000 account. Yes, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact same, exact same messages. I start with a ten thousand dollar account, and I do point one size lots, um, and I do basically provider orders for everything. You know, so unless they and most of these are specifying an entry price. <clears throat> so what that means is, if it has an entry price and it has target prices and a stop loss, that will will be entered as like a stop limit or a buy stop or you know whatever the case is it'll be entered as a pending order waiting for that specific entry price and the reason that i do that is because it maximizes the risk to reward right so like if they're trading supply and demand or ict or what you know whatever uh, strategy they're trading it maximizes the risk to reward so that's why i do it that way uh, so here we have the equity curve, which is kind of interesting. It's, you know, we saw definitely a big spike here in the, you know, the last few days of the month of March. Uh, entry hours, Asia, Europe, early U.S., a little bit of later U.S. session. Not sure why you'd bother with some of the later U.S. stuff, especially if you're trading a lot of gold. The market just gets so thin. Um yeah, profit and losses by hours. Here we've got our scatter plot. You know, so you see that our losses really kind of cluster in this region. But but the wins, you know, you've got a pretty wide variety of wins. You know, ideally you want your risk to reward to be about three to one. You know, everybody, I think everybody probably understands that. Uh, and here's the list of the trades. You know, we've got a variety of, a lot of gold, a lot of gold, some yen crosses, 
Uh, I think we got some exotic pears. Um, maybe some, yeah, GBP CAD, Aussie dollar and Swissy. Some of these like exotic crosses. Um, but yeah, that's, <laughs> I was pretty surprised by that. I think the the other channel, the, the twin channel, the GBP JPY channel, um, like I mentioned, it did about 17%. So we got two months of, I mean, whoever they're copying their signals from, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, 